What do you do when the child will say, I just eat chips all the time, or pick off packets of crisps by the dozen and put it into your, expecting you to just take it home and them to be able to eat it? Do you have any, any impact on whether or not you should introduce something more healthy into their diet? It's very tempting for a step-parent to come in and want to change things. Also, there's often a gap between the time when the child lost their other parent to either death or divorce and you've come on the scene. So there may be, you know, six months, nine months, a year or so when it's been the, the father and the child only and their, their eating has, has disintegrated or changed or got worse in the time. So often there's a job there for a step-parent that's very easy to see because you can see there's, there's a bit of a lapse and things could be improved. And you want to be seen to be doing well, so you think you're going to change the, you're going to improve the situation. My recommendation on this is to not to change the diet. Buy 12 packets of crisps, buy packets of chips. And then when the child, when you're cooking the chips and the child says, I just want chips, say, well, how about if I cooked a piece of chicken just to go with it. Or I've got some sausages here, you know, they're really the ones you like. How about if I put a few sausages in? Then gradually reduce the number of chips and introduce a vegetable. Only a vegetable that they will eat. Usually children will only eat one vegetable, have it, and, and produce it. Gradually things will change. And wait, often, often they will, they will recommend, they will want help. If they, if they are, for example, if they're slightly overweight, the child may say to you one day, you know what, you know, I'm, I, I got teased today at school because, you know, I'm a bit overweight. That's your opportunity. That's your opportunity. That's when you say, you know what, we, I could help you with that. Would you like me to? And that way you say, you know, you, we can do it together and I promise, promise it won't be difficult. Talk about the food and then you've got their volition. If you don't, they, they'll resent it. The mother can dictate what you feed the children. There's sometimes there are mothers that'll send you a, an Excel spreadsheet and that you've got to tick off whether or not they've eaten their five fruit and veg for the day. So it's a two-way street, that. You can ring the, depending on how friendly, the, the situation is you can ring the other parent and ask whether or not what the, what you should buy and what you should prepare and how you should prepare it um, and likewise you may need to fit with some needs that the parent um, the other parent asks